Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we created this little hover underline effect the other day for page titles and section titles and we had a great question. Somebody was asking, can you do this for your menu items up here? And the simple answer is, yep, yeah, absolutely. And there's an example. So I'll show you how to do this today. I'm not going to recode it. I'm going to use the code that we used in our last video and I'll paste it below the video that for anybody wants to reuse it on this today. We're going to be using the theme customizer to add our code here today. To get there, go to your dashboard down to appearance and then customize. That will take you to this page. Just need to go into the additional CSS at the bottom and this is where we'll be doing our coding. So I'm actually going to go and take the code that we used the other day and paste it in here. So let's give it a title. It's always a great idea to give custom CSS a title. So it's forward slash star star forward slash. In between the two stars, you can write anything you like and it will not be read as code. And you underline. And not only if you write a lot of code like I do, it makes it easier to find stuff. If anybody edits the site after you, if you built the site for a client, it's a courtesy to put in titles. Okay, so let's just leave that as it is. Now let's inspect. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this feature nowadays. If yours doesn't, Google Chrome is a free download. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to inspect our menu items to get the actual class names or class IDs. So we're looking at an A, an anchor tag, and it's in the top menu. So I'm going to left, double left click on the top menu ID there. I'm going to copy it, control C go back and we can affect it by it's an ID so it needs a hashtag then the ID name and we want to affect the anchor tag that's associated with it so we put an A afterwards but we want to create the pseudo element like we created before and to do that we need to put two colons in and then the word after and that's creating an after pseudo element now. Let's open and close some curly brackets. And in between, we can actually paste the code that we used for our underlines over here. So let's go to this page. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And I'm going to pop into this module that we created with the code in it. I'm going to go to the Advanced tab, Custom CSS. There's the code we put in our after. Let's select everything in here. Control C to copy and we'll go back and we'll paste it in between our curly brackets right here. Okay, let's just change that width zero because it's got no width to it so you can't see anything. If I change that to 10, you can see a little something there. So it's 10% 10, 10 of however wide that is. I want that to be 100% when we hover over it, not before. It's way too far down, so let's change the top from 45. It's 45 picks down from the bottom there. Let's change that to say 20 picks. I'm going to make that width 100% so we can get a better idea of what we're looking at here. That's fine. It's a lot fatter than I want it, so I'm going to take the height down to maybe 2 picks. That's better. So it looks like it's in the middle there because we've got it at 50%. I'm going to pull it over to the left so it starts from the left and goes across. So I'm going to just change that left from 50% to 0% or just 0 would do it. There, they're lined up nicely now. But of course we don't want to see anything until we hover over it. So I'm going to change that width back to 0% or even 0. Now they're gone. And we need to create a hover state. So let's copy our class or our, I, or our ID I should say at that our ID I'm going to copy that control C I'm going to drop down and after the A I'm going to put colon no gap after the A and the word hover to create a hover state and we've got a hover state affecting the after there we need to open and close some curly brackets in between, we'll tell it the width that we want, which is 100%. I'm just going to copy this. Of course, you can just type it in if you want to. I'm going to make that back into 100%. Now, when we hover over, that line comes back. 
and it's going 100% of the width of our text up there. Obviously you can adjust the height of it with your top pixel amount up there. So that's working quite nicely. I think one other feature I like to have when we're hovering over it would be nice if that text changed to the same color. Now we can actually go into our menu and do it that way. But while we're in the coder, I might just add another line of code to take care of that. So I'm going to say top menu A, which are, is what we're looking at. Those are the anchor tags of the top menu there. So I'm going to copy that class or ID, I should say, copy that ID. I'm going to drop down. And again, it's only on the hover state. So I want to put colon and the word hover. Open and close some curly brackets. And we want to overwrite the color. So I'm going to say color. I'm going to use that same blue. I'm going to copy our hex color up there. And it's made, well, it's actually done it there, which is fine, but it's a little opaque because I think they've got an opacity setting as default. So let's make sure that that's going to get overridden. So I'm going to say colon and we'll say opacity one semicolon I don't think that's actually done it I think we've got to force it to overwrite these styles so I'm going to add importance I don't like to do this if I don't have to but sometimes you have to so it's exclamation mark important now let's take a look there we go it's nice dark blue the same as the underline now So let's save our changes and we'll pop back to a page, get out of the builder here. And there's our original titles. Now if we hover over our menu up here, we've got our little underline and color effect going on. So there you go guys, there's how to add a nice little underline effect to your menu items using a bit of CSS. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.